which is bigger, 15 to the square root of 3 or 5 to the square root of 8? I'm going to start by guessing that the 15 to the square root of 3 is larger, just because I feel like it. And then what I'm going to do, I want to, the whole goal here is I want to get rid of these radicals and the exponents. So I like the idea of getting rid of this 3 first, but that might simplify nicely. So let's raise each side to square root of 3 and just multiply inside by this rule of exponents. And then we'll have square root of 3 times square root of 3 here is just going to be a 3. So we have a 15 to the third on the 15 cubed on the left. And this right expression, multiplying square root of 8 times square root of 3, is going to be 5 to the square root of 24. Now 15 cubed is just 33.75. At this point we want to find a good way to compare 33.75 to a power of 5. We're going to want something probably pretty close. Now I think what we want to use here is 5 to the 5 which equals 31.25. That's going to be pretty close and a good way to compare this. So we'll compare, we'll say 3375 is greater than 3125, with this just being 15 cubed. And we want this 3125, which is five to the five, to be greater than five to the square root of 24. So we want this piece here, but we have the same base, so we're actually just comparing five to the square root of 24. We want 5 to be greater than the square root of 24. And notice that 5 is actually just the square root of 25. So this is clearly a true statement. The square root of 25 must be greater than the square root of 24. So this is true, and this is true. And so this line is true, and therefore 15 square root of 3 is greater than 5 square root of 8. Now we just want to check that used the calculator before this video, so let's see what I got. Okay, so for 15 to square root of 3, this is approximately 108.9055, and 5 to the square root of 8 is approximately 94.838, so that, that validates our answer. So that's it.